<clears throat> if you go to any healthcare professional, physiotherapist, remedial massage, doctor, one piece of advice you're certain to get is that you've got to stretch up. Oh, okay, I didn't say that, but. If you go to any healthcare professional with a complaint of tight muscles, painful muscles, one piece of advice that you're absolutely 100% certain to get is, oh, you've got to stretch. So they'll give you some sort of stretch, the, this particular stretch because it's better than this other particular type of stretch, this one or this one, but either way, you're walking out of that office with a stretch and you're going to do that stretch multiple times per day maybe you got to do it for 20 seconds three times a day or maybe it's better to do it for two minutes one time a day <laughs> there's all these different sorts of things but one way or another it's a stretch and i uh, i think uh it's just kind of like a pretty pretty poor state of affairs that everything relies on this stretch method and honestly i don't think it's very effective uh in my experience it hasn't been very effective and it hasn't been very effective for other people I know. Um, I'll get to why in the, the cases where it can be effective, but for now. When you have a tight muscle, absolutely, you do want that muscle to be longer. You want it to have the ability to like flex out, you want to have better flexibility, you want that muscle to be nice and healthy and mobile. So that's why it's so easy, they make this connection, okay, it's short, and when you pull on it like that, it does lengthen out, so you pull on it, you go like this, and it becomes longer, right? But it just doesn't work like that. If you have some sort of material in the physical world, yes, you can grab it, and you can kind of stretch it, you know, something, even something literally like steel, you can grab it with something strong enough and pull on it, and it literally will become longer. That's how things work in the, the physical world. However, that's not how things work in your body because your muscles have a nervous system going into them. They're like this whole collection of like organic cells filled with nerves, like instructing them what to do. And the reason why they're tight in the first place isn't just because they're, they're like this physical piece of matter that happens to be in a short configuration. And therefore, by applying a mechanical load to it, you can make it go into a longer configuration. No, that's not what's going on. The reason why they're like that is because the whole body, the whole musculoskeletal system takes on complete configurations, right? Like every person in a way has like their standard configuration of their musculoskeletal system, like, you know, varying levels of tension all over the body. And basically it just sets itself up in a way that you can actually stand or sit. Like you might have one a default configuration for when you're lying down on your back. You might have one default configuration of muscular tension all throughout your body for when you're sitting for when you're sitting like this, for when you're sitting cross-legged, another one for when you're standing, another one for when you're lying in your stomach. You have all these like different configurations of musculoskeletal tension that kind of like your body has learned to operate itself. However, if you don't learn the appropriate coordination that your body needs, it kind of doesn't develop really efficient, excellent, low tension configurations with which to operate your system. So instead it ends up getting these like kind of crappy configurations that just are have tension in them. So that's that's why you get these like systems of tension like if you have something like anterior, anterior pelvic tilt, you know, you've got a whole system of tension where the back is kind of tight and you know the, the, the you know, the, the abs are pulling tight and <laughs> everything's kind of like pulling on each other and like just the, the, the result is, you know, this final skeletal position. 
it's not because of some simple thing like okay this one particular muscle is tight and this one is tight and this one over here is weak and this one over here is weak so therefore strengthen that one strengthen that one stretch that one stretch one and ta-da that, that's just a total load of nonsense your entire body has a has developed a configuration that kind of just like works to get you by you wouldn't you need to go and do a whole bunch of things if you, if you want to fix that problem so because your entire body and that when i say your entire body i mean like your entire mind your nervous system is controlling the tension levels in your body it's literally choosing all these different sections of tension throughout your musculoskeletal system so if you want to take your body to a place where it has low tension throughout the whole body and let's say this just say you've got a specific complaint in a specific muscle like your lower back or something or like your hips or something like that and you're like oh yeah well I want to have those not have tension well you're gonna have a problem there because as I said this is a complete whole body configuration if you come along and just like grab that muscle <laughs> and stretch on it, yeah, okay, muscles have elasticity, yes. That muscle will temporarily lengthen. But that doesn't mean that you're going to affect your complete musculoskeletal tension configuration across the whole body in any way whatsoever. Like, you're just going to temporarily physically lengthen it but your brain, your mind, is going to take it back to where it fits into the complete configuration that goes with everything else. That's why you stretch for a while and you're like, oh, I'm getting a bit of length. I've been doing this like multiple times per day strength and like, I really feel like it's like getting a little bit more flexible. But then if you just stop for a while, it just goes back to normal. And even if you um keep going and going and going and going, you just plateau. <laughs> so what you really need to do is, of course, as they say, you need to do a holistic approach, whoop de doo So many people say, oh, I'm holistic. I have a holistic approach. I have a holistic approach. Yeah, sure. Um, holistically wrong in many ways across many places. Anyway, that's just a side beef I have with the word holistic. <sighs> if you want to fix a condition in your body that has to do with tension, you really do need to re-engineer the tension levels in your entire body and that doesn't mean that you need to go around and do a physical stretch to everything and make every single muscle longer so that they're all now these long muscles that are all working together no <laughs> this doesn't work like that you basically need to train your mind train is possibly an appropriate word train your mind to learn new configurations of tension and you need to train it in like a you know it's like a slow progressive way where it just learns day by day little new things here and there and eventually over i don't know a, a number of depends on where, where your starting point is but a number of months or a number of years you can eventually reach a point where there are lower tension levels like a, and it's just a generally better configuration all over your body and to do that you need a combination of so many things like you need you need to do so many different exercises however when you go to do those exercises the problem is those specific exercises are not ones that you can just pick, cherry pick out of a textbook or out of some specific YouTube video or anything like that. You need to learn to like observe your body and just notice specific things about it and then kind of like come up with your own exercises that make positive changes for that specific thing that you've noticed just um, in a small way. Like if you have tight hips or something like that, you need to come up with very, just just an exercise today, you need to come up with a new exercise tomorrow, you need to come up with a new exercise the day after, 
and you need to just constantly be coming up with like, oh, here's something that might affect my glutes, here's something that might affect my, my chest, here's something that might do my upper back, here's something for my ankles, and you do all of these different things. There are so many different, different things. Like if you watch my video from a couple of days ago, it was called Comprehensive Arm Movement Tutorial. There's all these different types of movements and different ways you can use your arms. And you have to integrate them all together. You have to integrate that with like targeted types of strength training. But it, it's really very much about coming up with it yourself. Like if I if I had one, if I wanted you to have one takeaway from this, it would be not just to not worry just about stretching because that's like that's just one form of the paradigm that we're in and i would say the paradigm that we're in is that you can go and you know cherry pick these specific exercises that are very rigid and structured and then you can like do them like a number of times and then like magic because you followed some routine some set of exercises that now things are better the, the, the takeaway that I would have is to let go of that, that very structured cherry picking exercise approach and start to become your own human body engineer where you're in charge and you make your up your own exercises every single day for different parts. Like you just wake up and you, today you're like, oh, I just feel like something, maybe something in my hips today might do something for my hips start to do it a bit of movement start to move around and then go hmm what if I did this particular thing and I'm not even gonna say an example but because it's all about your own idea of what you might be able to do at any particular moment to make some particular some some improvement in some area of your body and as you do that more and more you get a better understanding of your body become more conscious of your body you make more changes you're your uh, your improvement accelerates and that's you know more of the way to do it <laughs> so yeah I, I mean like w watch this channel take inspiration from the exercises I demonstrate to you in the follow alongs do follow along with them but at the end of the day the follow along exercises even though I've been thinking about these exercises and, and I think they're pretty good and all sorts of stuff they will never, never be as good as the exercises that you come up with yourself on any given day for your specific situation and just how you specifically feel on any given day. Okay, uh, you know, this is, this is a quite complex topic, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it and maybe have a little discussion in the comments, so just type anything you feel in the comments and you'll be sure to get a reply. Okay, see you next time.